So, do you come here often? My optician actually says I have to wear these glasses and you're probably like, Sonny, they're sunglasses. No, they're not, all right? They need a tint because I've got a disease in one of my eyes which makes it really blurry. I know, you're like, Sonny, why are you playing video games there? Because I do this. Just gonna be a rebel though. I don't listen to opticians. I don't listen to doctors. I am my own man. Don't be like me, all right? You'd end up dead by the time you're 30. An apple a day keeps the doctor away and hopefully keeps the glasses away as well. I'm gonna eat an apple. Whew, so now that that apple's eaten and everything else in my fridge, let's get into that Manchester United career mode. So as you guys know, in the last one, we got that lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I nearly forgot shout out of the day. If you don't know, then get to know. If you guys want to be here for shout out of the day, all you have to do is comment in the comment section down below of this video and you will be in the next one. Also, if you guys haven't already, do smash out the like button down below. That would be a Appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to as well. And look in the description. There's a link for you guys to buy clothing from Into the AM with 10% off using the code BGG. There's also my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my twitch.tv forward slash bros that game link where we, you guys can watch me live. Just literally follow me on everything. So today's shout out of the day goes out to my boy Mohammed Nassim who says, Sunny, quotation marks. You guys like to see the formation of players? Feel, quotation marks, woof woof in brackets in English. Yes, they do. So he's basically saying that Theo answered my question during that video if you don't watch it watch the last episode you know what he's talking about made me laugh so the january transfer windows open we've also got a massive offering for my boy lionel messi from inter milan as well welcome back to the manchester united career mode Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Buzz Gaming. This is your boy Sunny, and we are back with another episode of that Manchester United career mode. And as you guys know, in the last one, we had a massive transfer offer in for Lionel Messi. And I did address the comment section down below from you guys, and a lot of people were saying, yo, Messi is actually linked to Inter Milan in real life. And I was like, yo, let me go ahead and contemplate whether we're going to sell him then. Of course we are. We're going to negotiate with Inter Milan because he's been linked with them in real life. And you guys are saying we don't play him enough anyway. We might as well get rid of him. He's declining. Why not get rid of the RG? time beast the argentine top man right now and you guys are saying it i'm saying it let's just literally combine and make it happen 120 million is what i'm going to ask for first for lionel messi i'm pretty sure they'll come back with something around that they've said 181.7 million pounds i'm trying to get towards the 90 million pound mark if they can get there that would be great i'm going to try and make exactly the amount of that um real madrid made from Sally ronaldo to juventus another um big man getting sold to another italian team 105 mil they come back with 86.3 you know what i don't think they're gonna give me more than that i'm actually gonna accept that deal 86.3 million pounds and the argentine beast that is lionel messi is leaving for inter i'm gonna try and get it back to how we had it and that is bring munier back in the belgian right back that was going to be our right back to replace i think it was Kimmich that we sold i want to bring him in again and bring him back to the club i know he's a chelsea player we do not sign any other player from the top 16s so everybody that says sign salah sign Firmino, sign sane sign aguero i'm not gonna sign those players all right we don't sign any players from the top 16s. Eden Hazard as well came up a lot. Except for this guy because we signed him and then we had to redo the career mode. He moved to Chelsea. I have to sign him back to the club. And at the moment, he's at Chelsea and he will be back here. Okay, so I'm going to go back in there with, I think it was 27 million we signed him for. But I'm going to try, you know, something high. Something we can literally start on and work with. 42.9 is what they want. All right, we're going to get down a little bit. All right, we're going to probably end on around the 35. But I'm going to try and get him for as least as possible, as less as possible even 30 million pounds 42.9 i don't think chelsea's gonna budge on it you know you know what i'll go straight in there with what i'm willing to offer 35 million pounds and we will take munier from chelsea of course they want some time to think about it this career mode has literally been full of teams wanting time to think about offers yeri mina he's been linked with manchester united so much recently and i did see a comment someone said yo bring in kulabali i do want to check out kulabali while i talk about this but someone actually said to bring in kulabali as a center back to pair up with eric bite and rafael Varane, we should have a, literally a back three of highly rated um, centre backs, and it would be a very good idea to bring in Kulabali, considering he's probably around the 86, 87 overall rating now. He's 88 rated. Would be a really good signing to bring in for 42 million pounds. He could be massive at Manchester United. He's six foot two as well. However, my tallest centre back at the moment is six foot three. We've got a six foot two in Eric Bay as well. And Mina comes in at six foot five. And you guys can see from the career mode, we haven't scored from many corners. We haven't defended corners well. Yeri Mina could sort out that problem. I also might want to go back to the four two three one formation as well. The four three two one even formation back to what we had it. We've got a second team out there. I've got my first team in that 3-5-2 and I might just result back to the 4-3-2-1 like I just said to you guys. And Mina could come in 
to play when we need that kind of a centre back that can come in and do that job. So I do want to go after him. I put an offer in, and obviously it doesn't hurt that Manchester United has been linked with him in real life as well. I do want to make it as realistic as possible. Twenty nine million pounds is what they want for him. I'm gonna, I'm willing to pay that. I'm willing to pay say thirty million to start with and maybe work our way up. Thirty nine point eight. I'm not gonna lie. I was originally gonna go in there with forty million pounds, but now that they've come with thirty nine point eight, I might be able to get in way less than that. I'm gonna try thirty two and maybe end on around thirty. 35 mil, I'm willing to pay around that, they say 39.8 again, maybe if I try 35 mil they say yes, if not then we'll go up a little bit higher and maybe go towards what they're actually willing to take on it, we'll put that 800k in there as well, 35.8, no it's not going to cost as much difference, 4 million pound difference, we'll pay it. Before we make that deal permanent, I actually want him to be fresh for the next game, so we're not going to sign him yet, I will sign him after our first game of the episode, this is against Wolverhampton, we've got Eric Boy, Lindelof and Varane at the back, Saul Pogba, Rashford, Neymar, Dabale, Lukaku and Mbappe in that squad as well. You can see our first team, our second team is just as good. Our second team has so many great players because of our squad depth that it looks like our first team. If it wasn't our, if you didn't see our first team, that would look like our first team if that makes sense. But we're going out there with that 3-5-2 formation. Let's go out there. Let's get the dub, boys. That's what we're out here to do. Safari's on the bench. Lozano's on the bench. Martial's on the bench. We know how beast these players are in off the bench, boys. We've got them there to do the job. Neymar trying to get up there. He's never winning that heading competition. That's why I like playing Sasenian out there. Does win headers. Obviously, Alexandro can do that job as well, who hasn't got much first-team football recently. But that's why I'm probably thinking about reverting back to four at the back because of Alexandro and trying to play players like him and Sesenyon on that in that left-back position. They played it short. They played it in. It's going to have a chance. And there is the goal for Wolves. 1-0 Wolverhampton within the first few minutes. We were the only team getting a, the chances. And 17 minutes in and they score a goal. I think it might be Jota who's got the goal there for Wolverhampton. Or Raul Jimenez, I'm not sure. It's Silva. Who's Silva? They brought in a player called Silva and he scored a goal for them. Is that Andre Silva? Oh no, Silva is Jota. Yeah, I thought so. I was just checking, boys. I was checking your knowledge. This is where we could do with a Yuri Mina. Maybe I should have brought in Mina before the game. I don't know, boys. We're going to get the cross in now towards the big man. It's headed on. It's took a knock off from moving. Never sorry, boys. I actually just snagged the mic. My bad. But it's took a knock on after that Saul header. Maybe we don't need a Yuri Mina. Maybe Saul is like, yo, you're talking about you haven't been scoring for corners. Get me in that box. And I will put one into the back of the net. It's actually an old goal in my opinion. It was on target though. So, so, so Saul claims it and gets his first goal in the Premier League as well for Man United. Here they go down the left with Jota. Jota's got players waiting in the middle. They've played it across and back into Saiz. Saiz. Saiz plays it down the left hand side. Here's Jota again. Jota trying to get his second goal. Lovely little interception from Pogba. And we'll try and get that one forward into Lukaku. Here he goes Romelu. Romelu needs some support. He finds it in Killian. Killian's got Neymar running forward as well. I see you, Neymar. I need you to run a little bit faster than Neymar. Oh, oh, support, support. Romelu, Lukaku going for goal. Big save from Rui Patricio to keep us out. And then Bappe's header was just bad. 1-1. One, one, and we are back in it, Manchester United. It's played short from Rafael Varane moving forward. Divi Dabala into Killian. Killian and Bappe with the fake shot. Still Killian. Killian will back that one up into the middle. Dabala attacking and he scores. 2-1 Manchester United. Nobody quick to that ball. But my boy, Pala Dabala. And he's covering his face, face from laughter as well. Every time this kid scores, he covers his face. I don't know what it is, maybe. Oh my God, everyone's going invisible. Did you see that? Everybody just disappeared. Now what am I going to do with like six players on the pitch? What's going on? Stay forward. Come on, boys. I see you down the left-hand side. Go on, Neymar. Go on, Neymar. Show them what you got. Here goes Neymar. Here he goes. Here goes Neymar. Still Neymar. Little ball roll. Neymar. He's one-on-one. -on -one and what a tackle that is for the defender. Lovely little bit of skill from Neymar. Oh, what is that? That's not a corner. Are you serious? Here go Wolverhampton now trying to get themselves at equalization. Goal and Rashford stops that before it even comes to anything. Lukaku played forward again. It's hit by Mbappe. And Rui Patricio has saved Wolverhampton this game. He's made so many saves. Here comes the corner from Manchester United. Lukaku waiting in there. Saul, one of the un unlikely heroes from a corner, waiting in there as well. It's whipped in. It's headed in. It's Saul again. What is going on? Yeri Mina. Saul is like, yo, put me in that box. Maybe we've been missing out on the headers because Saul hasn't played too many games. He's 90 rated now. And Saul is just jumping ahead of everyone. Look at him. There's two players on him. Two players. And the kid is having none of it. He smashed that one into the bottom right hand corner. Shot error. What a shot error. Yeri Mina, who's that? The guy is on fire. Saul literally on his hat trick of headers. Hat trick of corner headers as well. 
Saul is on absolute fire. Maybe him and Yerimina could be one hell of a target in the middle of the um, box when we get a corner. Here's Mbappe. Looks towards Lukaku. We've got Neymar running on the outside. Here goes Neymar. Loads of space for him. Here he goes. Neymar cuts his side. Gets some space. It's Neymar. It's 4-1. We're on absolute fire. They're not stopping us. You guys wanted to see more of Neymar. I've given you more of Neymar. You guys wanted to see more goals from Neymar. I've given you more goals from Neymar. And these sliders are just not stopping us. Don't forget we're on legendary and that was hard enough you guys wanted sliders we put sliders on as well and we're winning 4-1 against Wolverhampton it looked like we could lose when they scored first Rui Patricio goal kick again he's gone for a looping one that went really high up in the air and Rashford's won the header as well here's Dibby Darbois left somehow gets it forward into Mbappe the ball could be out there out to Marcus Rashford with the volley what a goal it's 5-1 Manchester United we are unstoppable now at Manchester United it is Wolverhampton like I said I don't want to get ahead of myself we beat West Bromwich Albion in the last episode 5-0 and then we drew and lost games. I do not want that happening today. 5-1 against Wolverhampton. Rashford with a beautiful goal on the volley. First time. Yo, you can't stop us. Oh yeah, for Wolverhampton plays it into the centre. Get that out of there. Blow that whistle. There it is. Full time and Manchester United win five goals to one. We needed goal difference. We needed points and that gave, game gave us both of those things. Three points to the table. Not a clean sheet, all right? But they did have that big chance and they actually finished the chance and it looked like we could lose the game as well. But we came back, we scored five and we made sure that they didn't even think about winning the game. Oh, we got a player returning from loan. My boy Joel Pereira has actually returned from loan. Obviously, he's been sent out in real life recently, but what's the point of me sending him out on loan? And this is the last season of the career mode. You guys won't get to see him, so we could bring him in. Also, they've accepted that £35 million for Mounier as well, so I'm definitely going in there for that contract. 3.1 in signing bonus as well. That is a lot of money to be asking, boys, but it's the last season. Why not give it him? Welcome to the club, Mounier. Now for my boy, Yeri Amina. Hopefully, he is fresh enough to start the next game, all right? We're going to negotiate and go for him as well. You know what? Like I said, it's the last season. Why not give these players what they want? And Yeri Amina is now a Manchester United player. He signed, us, signed to us on a five-year deal. Like in real life, he's accepted a five-year deal. Norwich City. Now, I could go with that 3-5-2 formation and obviously demolish him the way we just played in the last game. However, I believe this formation could work a little bit better against a team like Norwich, especially with the pace that we can play up there as well. Martial and Lozano playing in those wing positions. Guedes playing through the middle of Guedes, however you say his name. James Rodriguez could come back in and try and prove that he could do something for me, hopefully, in that cam role. I do want to replace one player and that is Fosu Mensah to bring in my boy Yeri Mina. We're also going to take off the lot from the bench and bring in Munier as well to hopefully see them both play maybe take out Handanovic and give Joel Pereira a game why not you know he just returned from his loan deal let's give him a go and see what he could do Amos Rodriguez trying to catch up to the players Gades does his job there and gets the ball forward what a ball that is by the way into Anthony Martial who gets there Hamas Rodriguez, Lozano waiting on the right hand side, receives the ball, here he goes, he's having Lozano, he nearly scored straight off the bat again, and nearly make it 1-0 Manchester United, nearly picking up exactly where we left off boys, we've got my boy Yerim Mina waiting in there, I'm going to look towards him, we've got the height, he's actually gone towards the middle, Matic with the header and away by Norwich City, Yerim Mina, I need you to do the job there man, that's what you've been brought in to do, help me on corners, maybe he moved to that far post a lot of the time, I don't know, there he did, and we didn't really get anything from the kid. Free kick for Norwich City. I'm going to get a man on the line real quick. I think I've got Mina in on the um, wall as well. Hopefully, that is. They've played it short. It's straight at Milankovic. Over the top. Joe, oh, what are you doing, Joe Pereira? My God, man. Come on, son. Yeah, Mina. Little dink over. That was some really cool and calm and collected play from Yuri Mina. Here's Fredinho. Not very calm and collected from him. Fredinho wins, it ball, wins the ball back, though. And we'll get it forward as well from Milankovic. Here's Hamas Rodriguez into Goncalo. Goncalo Guedes back into Milankovic. Savage and it's... Oh, it's off the post. Hit again and Anthony Martial... Anthony Martial does not make a mistake from there. It is 1-0 Manchester United against Norwich City. We had the chance after some beautiful football. Look at that for a ball. Milankovic Savage hits the post. I thought it went in and Martial puts in the rebound goal. Though at least we score the goal. It is 1-0 Manchester United and we were back to where we started. Back getting goals. Norwich City holding the ball now. We've got so many players back now. Let's change your formation. We've got four at the back. Munier coming in for his debut in that right back position as well. Here's Pinto. 
Pinto tries to play it in. Marcial cuts that one out. And here goes Herving Lozano. He's got the pace to take him on and get past him. Get away from them, Lozano. Make it out as if they've got some kind of disease which is contaminated. All right? It's contagious, boys. Herving Lozano getting away from them way too easily. Still Lozano. He's going alone. Lozano. Oh, my God. If that went into the back of the net, what a run that would have been, boys, from Herving Lozano. Literally ran the whole pitch to get up there. And then just puts it wide. Thanks to a bit of shot error. McLean trying to take on Nemanja Matic. And Milankovic Savage even and he's having none of it Lozano into Anthony Anthony Martial he's got support there on the right hand side from Alexis Martial going alone here's Alexis now Alexis Sanchez cuts his side it's Alexis Sanchez is wide and over from the Chilean man and the little Chilean could be leaving Manchester United this season just has not done what we expected of Alexis he could be going the full-time whistle could be blown any second now as well it's come to Lozano though we might have one more chance before the whistle Andres Pereira out wide is Martial he nearly scored I had the shot literally lined up for myself was about to finesse it the whistle is blown what a last ditch tackle from the defender but we do still win the game and we're away as well you can tell by that red corner in the stadium we win the game boys we take the three points that's what we came to do 19.9 from Watford for Fosu Mensah so that's an interesting offer because he's been loaned out in real life recently and I just don't feel like he's going to get that first team football that we all know that he should be getting by now. I feel like we should probably accept this but I want to keep him at the club. There it is. Man like Lionel Messi has been sold now to Inter Milan. We actually made 86.3 but with the board taking their cut of that percentage of that little bit of transfer money we make 81 million pounds and that has been allocated to our transfer budget. Now that we've got that kind of money I need you guys to make a decision right. In fact you've made the decision. And I'm making it happen boys We did sell Anthony Martial We had to restart the career mode Because I accidentally saved over it And then Martial was back in the club And I asked you guys Do you want me to release Martial Or you can have me release Thomas Lamar instead Who is now 89 rated Which would literally be like a like for like He's a little bit younger Maybe got a little bit more potential in him And you guys said Yo, release Thomas Lamar So that's exactly what I'm going to do It's going to cost me a hell of a lot of money In fact, what the hell? Too many players released. No, I want him gone. I want him out of here. Why can I not release Thomas Lamar? The big beast is a part of that 3-5-2 formation. You can see my boy Yari Mina making that back three. Just unstoppable at the back. Mina, Varane and Eric Bight at the back would be actually crazy. We've got our first game in FA Cup football this season coming up against Blackburn as well. Hopefully we can win that game. You saw the transfers that have happened this episode. I'm going to re literally refresh your memories if you guys don't remember. All right, We actually signed my boy Muni. Yeah, that was after Rojo left the club. We also brought in Mina and then sold Lionel Messi for £86.3 million. Pounds, which means we've got a hell of a lot of money to be spending to bring a brand new players to the club as well and I will show you guys the amount of money we have let's just put 500k in wages we've got 280 mil to spend on brand new players who do you guys want at the club let me know in the comment section down below who do you guys want me to sell from my club as well also let me know in the comment section down below I'm going to show you guys the players that I want moved on and you guys can let me know if they're great players to move on or if you guys want to see them stay at the club one player that I want to move on is Brereton the second one is Thomas Lamar the third one is Borthwick Jackson and the fourth one a very controversial Controversial one is Ander Herrera as well. Other than that, I don't really see other, any other players of mine moving on unless you guys can see them moving on. Maybe Alexandro as well because we don't really play a left back and Sasenyon does a better job there now. If you guys have enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash out the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Also, if you guys could, go in the links in the description and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. That will be appreciated. Just search Bros Got Game and hit me up on there. I'm also always on those social medias. Also, you can get 10% off your Into the AM purchases using the code BGG that would be appreciated my phone's going up I doubt that's a into the AM purchase boys it could be but yeah I'll catch you guys in the next one peace